Hello everybody, and today we're actually, I'm going to be showing you, while playing Magic the Gathering Arena and showcasing a deck, I haven't done Magic the Gathering on video or stream for a very long time, and, but essentially I'm, I want to showcase this particular deck. I mean, you'll kind of get a feel for it relatively quickly, but, but, yeah. Now I think about it, playing oh, turn one was probably not actually great in this case. Because of my commander getting buffed. Nope. Not attacking there. Though honestly, they might actually have let me just sit so it would get a plus. Yago weaknesses, I'd say, are usually flying... And rem I don't have a lot of removal. No. And I certainly don't have counter spells because it's a green deck. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm going to have to wait for next turn. So if they have really good. So if they have kill cards that they use, this could be annoying. Ah, oh, they cast the commander, though. Huh, that's interesting. Okay. So. Yeah, this is usually what my deck ends up doing. Hmm. They, they can block, but that does, like, nothing for their commander. They're going to block with that. And then get a counter. Which makes sense. No. No, I could put plus one, plus one counters on, and I think I am. Hmm. Am I? Yes. I'm going to use this as a blocker, so. I oh, Wait, it's not letting me add one for each elf you control. Four, six, seven. I think that's an eight. Okay. Now, next turn... I know what I'm going to do. I, I think you we both know. Well, actually, more than one person. Uh, removal might hurt. That's the one problem. It's unlikely to set me back enough that I'm not going to do this, but... Oh, they just conceded. Well, I guess I didn't get to use that card. That happens. Oh, is the rip. I'll play one more game and then I'll actually, like, show the cards. But anyway, it does have some removal, but it does, it, I, I, it could definitely have more even being in green. Okay, this is not, don't have enough lands. I have a free mulligan, so I'm going to use it. Ah, yeah, this one's looking good. Because this way I can get a turn two 
Marwin, which is always good. I don't want it to use Marwin. <laughs> That's a good start. Like how they're looking at that. Yep. Sooner or later, we're going to go up against the deck that actually had removal. Oh! I'll do this even without the thing, because the thing is, I have a very good card. You know, I probably shouldn't be playing all of that, but it's fine. I won't have enough to cast that, so I'll be casting... Thing. So if I cast Nyssa, the next turn... Okay. That's the plan. Two mana from that, just not quite enough to pass that, which is annoying. I'm not liking, but I'm so far. I think I cry and in the losing position still. They're going to bring it back, aren't they? Oh no. They have two now. I'm not going to try to kill it. I think they, they want me to kill it. That's five. Oh, wait, but there's also that. Oh, and also the fact that there's times three. I forgot about that. That's kind of important detail. Why did I tap that? Oh, it's because it's larger, probably. I'll wait one more turn to attack and just hope they don't have a board wipe because that'd be pretty brutal. Oh. Well, that's great. I don't like... 
I don't like Brolis and Citadel them having that. That really does not seem good. None of that seems good. Oh my god, that was bad. Wow, that hurt. Yeah, this is not, that did not go well for me. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't realize enough or was hitting it. That, wow, that was not great. Me making that mistake was just very bad. Very, very bad. Zero one. Well, this is going great. I think we lost this one. Because they're, they just need to... Just how powerful Bullis and Sidel is right here. Really don't want them to create a ton of creature tokens. Well, that's an interesting choice. Oh, yeah, right. And Ellis, yeah. Well, that just owned me. And now they can sacrifice those, and then I lose. Wait, does that? Oh, I forgot that requires tap. Theoretically, I'm not dead yet. But I'm pretty much dead. Yeah, this is going to take a long time to resolve. Oh, I'm just conceding. Uh, I, I, there are times where I'm just not willing to go through all of that, and that's one of the times. I'm just not... It's just not happening. I, I'm not going through all of that. But yeah, it has Marwyn as the commander. It has Shepard to make green spells not counterable when I play it. Mana, uh, elf, enchantment for extra plus one, plus one counters. Mana elf, elf that gets fake sometimes. Mana elf. Elf with count another elf attached. Elf buff. El creating extra elves and also buffing them. Doing a lot of things that are pretty useful. Buffing elves and the and it may being able to draw cards. Ranger class, which is for the fourth ability, is really what's good. Well, everything is it something early on to play. Scratch. Uh, this allows me to seek a health card, which is good, and it has reach. This has flash and reach. This is for when I create a ton of elf tokens, which I occasionally do with some of the cards. Elf mana. Life gain for playing green cards. Elf with another elf. Just ton 
it's more plus one, plus one counters. Basically, elf ton of mana. Elf mana. Elf buff and a ton of mana. Basically, this card is basically what this card is. It's my, it's the triple mana thing that I get to play next turn, but it can also be do get a few other good things. Right, we scry shard. This is on tap and 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 buff elf seek an elf card. It, it's pretty good. And then regal force is also just for draws. Growing lights of Vicko knock. Pretty self-explanatory. This is. Basically for the mana, but it's also just because it can grow big. Hydra's growth, basically it just snowball counters. Elf buff, but plus can create elf tokens. Ring charge, put a plus one, then double. Mana elf, mana elf plus drawing the card. Creating an elf on the things that don't have that ability to do get tap for mana or just do, but it's still helpful. Elf buff and elf mana. This is so when I actually have life gain set up, I can gain more, but it's also just tanky, kind of. This one is because I put a lot of plus one, plus one counters, so some I can make an army of insects sometimes. This is so to make it slightly harder. This is because of reach. Oh, this is because of reach and the, and the fact that opponent I'm not can't do as much against instants and sorceries. So I draw a card when I have a ton of counters on it. This is draw a card whenever you play something. Defense of the heart. I don't even know what they were thinking, but if the opponent controls three or more creatures, you sacrifice it. Search for your library, up for up to two creature cards, put those onto the battlefield, and then shuffle. Yeah, I'm going to be honest, that's pretty overpowered. Open Ambush, this creates a ton of elf tokens. This gives my creatures that with power for a greater plus one, plus one, and trample. And it makes creatures' spells you cast with power for a greater cost two less to cast. You have a few of those. This is to make... Creatures give more mana and be able to buff my army later. The ton of mana. This is comes brings elves with all the creatures. It gets really large and adds an additional one plus one counter for every creature, which can be good for some of the synergy. This is Utah Elf. It is very helpful because it has vigilance, reach, and trample attacks or blocks. You get to do cool things. This one be, can be useful because they can give all my creatures plus one and plus one and trample. If they're lacking it, make a land, give more. Draw a card if I control a creature with power for your greater or gain life. So it's pretty good. This one, d Hydra, that doesn't take damage. Always nice. Nissa, which is very good. This is for when my spell things get removed that I can remove back. This is for more counter synergy. Large creature getting this that triples my mana, which is really good. This can return my creatures back, which I don't have a lot of recursion, so it's good. I can and I can do multiple of those. I can proliferate and increase plus one plus one counters, gain four life, create two two citizen creatures tokens, which I'd almost never do if ever. And then this. And there's a battlefield, it can be used as a big creature and a uh, removal, which is fr against most things, which is pretty nice. The Great Henge, is, it's nice to gain the two, two green mana and two life, and it, it basically means whenever something errors, it gets a plus one, plus one counter, and you draw a card. This one is a good end game when you have like infinite mana in this. You play it and then spend a ton of mana on it and it'll split whenever it dies. And it just it has trample and ward. It's pretty good. This one, honestly, it's not that good. This gun can be good, okay, but it's not the best. 
This one's good because you can either make it really big with trample or make it moderately big and have it fight a creature. And then this is the one card which I was about to use the first game where I conjure a card which would actually remove the other one, which is kind of sad. But what it would do is it would summon X named Landlord Elves. And I would have a lot from how much I could have spent in X. So that would have been definite win. Unless they have a board wipe. Board wipes are painful. It's just, that's always a counter. But anyway, that's really what I have in this. That's about all. Bye.